Hey everyone, I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi, and this is Friday Power Flow. So, let's go. Get on your mat and come on into your downward facing dog. Then in your downward dog, set your foundation. Check in with your hands and check in with your feet. Let your head hang down. Feel if you can let your heels soften down a little bit. Take another big inhale. Then a big exhale. On your next inhale, come on forward to your high push-up, high plank. Shift forward. Track your shoulders over your wrists. Your low belly draws in and up. Gaze can be down, but a little bit forward, so you're really lengthening from the crown of your head out through your heels. And even when you look at your hands, you can see your fingers. Let your fingers lengthen out, spread out. Let the undersides of your knuckles make contact. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press back to your downward facing dog. And here you can check in. Your heels don't have to touch, but can you lift your toes, right? So just noticing if you are hanging on with your toes, you can soften there. Inhale, come on forward to your high push-up, high plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, high push-up, high plank. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, come on forward to your high push-up, high plank. Breathing here. Knees can be lifted or lowered. A little bit of a lift out of your shoulders. Take a big inhale. Exhale, press back to your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. <sighs> Take another big inhale. And as you exhale lightly, step or jump to the front edge of your mat. Find your flat back, your halfway lift. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, come on up to stand. Hands reach high. Heart lifts, look up. Draw your hands to your heart. Pause for a moment. You can set your gaze or close your eyes. Set an intention for your practice if you like. Take a deep inhale. Then a long exhale. Inhale, sweep your hands high, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale. Hands to your mat, step back to your high push-up, high plank, little pause, forward and halfway down, low push-up, chaturanga. You can drop your knees or come all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog, maybe a cobra or a low cobra. Exhale, back to your downward dog or your child's pose. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. <sighs> Take another deep inhale here. Exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to your mat, high push up to low push up as you exhale. Upward dog, take a deep breath in. Downward dog, breath out. So remember, you can add in, you can add in variations, you can add in breath. Remember, this is your practice. Take another big inhale, exhale. Step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to stand, rise and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push-up to low push-up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. And you can work with your ujjayi breath, breathing in and out through your nose if that works for you. If it works better, breathing through your mouth. Probably most important to me is an intentional breath and allowing the balance and the support of your breath connecting to this breath so you are right here instead of being off somewhere in your head. Take another long inhale, exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up to stand, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. You can step or jump back, upward dog, take a breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once more, deep inhale here, fill up. Exhale lightly, walk or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet, put a bend in your knees. Come on up, lift your heart, reach your hands high. You can work with your hands at your heart. Weight of your body, even press right to left, but then a little more weight in your heels. For as much as you sit down, lift up. Take a big breath in, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Beer Vajrasana, back foot spins flat. Come on up, hands higher at your heart. Just take a moment, take a breath, check in. Two feet on your mat here. <clears throat> Feels almost funny to say that. Of course, of course you have two feet on your mat. But I think that we can use that reminder, especially when we get stuck in our head. Two feet on your mat, the reminder to take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And even the reminder that this is your practice. Take another big inhale. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one. Light step, but with intention. Come on up. Connect through both feet. Bend into your front knee. There might be some room to even out your hips. Let your left hip come back, your right hip come forward. This is your practice. And there's nothing selfish about saying that. This is your practice. This is your body. This is time for you to take care of yourself so that when you get off your mat, you're in a better place to take care of others. You're in a better space. Take one more big inhale here. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. <sighs> Take another big inhale, exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, sit down, come on up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a breath in, downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps, warrior one, Beer Vajrasana. Come on up, rise up. Exhale, hands come to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps, warrior one, come on up. Exhale, hands come back down. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot again, warrior one, rise up. Now warrior two, open up, add in a little bit of space, lengthen through your arms, dip into your front knee, spin your palms to the sky, take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Find a place for your right hand. Feel that you're in a really good place to support yourself and enjoy yourself. Take another big inhale, exhale, hands come down to your mat, high push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, Exhale, right foot steps forward, warrior one, rise up. Open to your warrior two. Adjust your feet. Pay attention. Be here so you can feel if you need to adjust your feet. You can adjust your gaze, adjust your breath. Absolutely, you can adjust your focus. So if you're not paying attention to what's going on in your body, on your mat, bring your attention back. And spin your palms to the sky. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Sink a little deeper into your front knee. Lengthen through your back leg. Let your left hand support you. Let your breath support you. And we're supporting each other. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Another big inhale here. Exhale, step or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Come on up, lift up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. 
Upward dog, take a breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Back heel lifted, rise up. Right foot a little to your right. Back heel, back knee lifted, or you can bring your back knee to your mat. Draw your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale, then twist to your right. Left elbow towards the outside of your right thigh. Check in here, feel your whole right foot connect on your mat. Let your toes be soft, but you can still keep your toes down. Feel your left heel press back behind you and a little bit of lift in the back of your left knee or bring your left knee down. Now lengthen forward, lengthen back and lift your heart, open up. And then if you wanna separate your hands and open up, go for it. Left hand can reach for the ground on the outside of your right leg or you can work with your left hand on your left shoulder your right hand reaching high. You can take your gaze up here. Big breath in, long breath out. Really nice rinse out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Find your footing. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Now half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off with that back foot. Let your right hand land in front, a little to the right of your baby toe. Your left hand can stay at your left hip, or you can take your left hand up to the sky. And here again, you can take your gaze up, lifting up through your right leg, extending out through your left arm and your left leg. Take a big breath in. Lightly drop back to your warrior two. Right hand high reverse. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Right foot again, crescent lunge, come on up. Draw your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale. One more time, twist to your right. Yep, I know we did this already. Right foot is forward, left foot is back. Crown the head forward. Separate your hands, right hand reaching up for the sky. Now in this twist, let your right arm pull you up to stand. So you're facing the right side of your mat. Your right hand reaches back, your left hand reaches forward. Bring your gaze forward out over your left fingers. Take a big inhale and then lift off, twisting half moon this time. Left hand down to the ground. You can use a, I'm gonna reach up for my block. You can use a block to Bring the ground up so you can lift up and then lengthen out and then twist open. Take one more big inhale, left foot down beside the right, front of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up to stand, rise up, reach up, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Left foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Step up, rise up, rise up, but then settle down. Sink down a little bit. And all of your energy, hopefully you can feel it rising up. But then at the same time, that balance of just kind of letting it settle down so you don't get carried away. Draw your hands to your heart, take a big inhale. Now twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. Crown the head forward, tailbone extending back, your right heel lifted and extending back, or you can bring your right knee down. And what are you focus on? focusing on? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on trying to do as much as you can in a short amount of time? How about just focusing on really being generous with your breath and feeling the generosity of, of giving yourself this time in this practice. That helps to take some of the pressure off. Hands can stay together or they can open up. Right hand reaching down, left hand reaching high. And again, it's really nice opportunity to rinse out and twist and open up right, with your breath, awakening your energy with your inhale, with your exhale, Right, rinsing out anything you don't need right now. You don't need much right here, right now. On your next inhale, come up and around to your warrior two. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Now half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off, lift off, lift up. Feel like you can open up. 
It's funny because we don't need much. We don't need much when we get on our mat. We just need our bodies, our breath, our connection. Sometimes you don't even need a yoga mat. One day as I was setting up for class, I noticed, holy cow, I have all this stuff around my mat. I have my water, and I have a towel, and I have my watch, and I have a block, and I have this, and I have that. And gosh, you really, you don't need much when you get on your mat. Focus, connection, lift up, take a big breath in, lightly drop back to your warrior two. Left hand high, reverse your warrior, exhale, hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps again, crescent lunge, come on up. Find your footing, hands to your heart, big inhale. Twist to your left, right elbow towards the outside of your left thigh. Find your twist, really especially grounded through your left foot, open up. Right hand reaching down, left hand reaching high. Now in this twist, come up to stand, still facing the left side. Lengthen out through your arms front to back and then bring your gaze forward towards your right fingers. And from here, twisting half moon. Let your right hand come down. Let your right leg lift up. I really like a little bit of lift here. I think when you add in that lift, right, you can lengthen more through your standing leg. As you lift up, you have more access to length, more support, and then you can get a little more twist without even forcing. Take a big inhale, right foot down beside the left. Nice job, you guys. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift up, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to your mat, high push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog. Take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale, then a big exhale. <sighs> Take another deep breath in, and as you exhale, step or jump your feet through your hands, sit down, and then lie down. Come onto your back, bring your feet flat on your mat, just like you would for bridge or wheel. Reach your hands forward. Spin your palms forward, lift your head and shoulders up off your mat, and then here, pulse up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, reach your hands, keep reaching your hands forward. Now take your right hand towards your right baby toe and then your left hand towards your left baby toe. Shoulders lifted, just go side to side for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on down, reach your feet up towards the sky. One more time, hands come forward, palms pressing forward, shoulders lifted, Pulse up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, hands towards your feet. Opposite hand towards the outside of the opposite foot for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and release. You can give your knees a squeeze, and then set your feet up now for your bridge or wheel. And as you inhale, fill up, and then come on up. Nice lengthening through the sides of your body. Lifting your hips and your heart, opening through the front of your body. Take your time. You can feel the, the twists, the work that we've done, the rinsing out. And now, now lifting up and opening up. You can stay in your bridge. If you want to come up for your wheel, you can come up for your wheel. If you want to come down and take rest, go ahead. Come down and take rest. This is your practice. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Take another big inhale, and then come on down. Come on to your back. Soles of your feet together, knees to the side. Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a big inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, empty out. <sighs> Take another breath in. And a breath out. Come on into your happy baby. Knees wide. Grab your feet or the backs of your thighs. Long spine, you can add in some movement. You can extend one leg or the other or both if you like. And then draw your knees back to your chest. Start to find some forward and back movement. And when you're ready, rock forward, plant your hands, make your way into your downward facing dog. You can add your vinyasa. Or just step on back to your downward dog. Take your breath in. And a breath out. And bring your feet together a little bit forward. Right leg reaches for the sky. Bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener. And you can let the foot pull you over if you want to flip your dog. You can also work with your left knee down. You can take it right into your wheel here if you like. And then come on into your half pigeon. You can extend the right leg, take your time setting up this variation or the variation on your back. Maybe add a little bit of lift, a big inhale, and then come on forward. Take a big breath in, and a long breath out. Really nice to let your head rest on something. And then once you rest your head, really feel that, feel that support. Once you're set up in your variation, you feel the support beneath you, around you, within you, right? It is your practice. And I really don't think there's anything selfish about saying that. It's time to reset, reconnect. And really, you don't need much to practice, right? And as you practice, what you remember is you have so much within you already. Everything you need within you already. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. Set your hands under your shoulders. And come on back to your downward facing dog. Whatever, whatever transition feels good for you. And then feet together a little bit forward, left leg to the sky, bend your left knee, working with your down dog hip opener here or your right knee down or flipping your dog. And then from here, Come on into your half pigeon. Yeah, you can add in some length in the left leg before you set it up. Intentionally lengthen through your right leg. Size of your body, long, your breath long. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. As you, as you make your way through your practice, you reconnect to everything that you have within you. Then you finish your practice, or at least you finish your practice on your mat. And then really, then you can offer what you have to the world, right? Anyone you encounter once you're off your mat. You're in a better place to offer what you have to others. 
can be generous with yourself in creating this practice for yourself. And then you can give more generously of yourself when you're off your mat. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. Once more here, a big inhale. And a big exhale. And then from here, come on up. You can finish with a downward dog or you can simply sweep your back leg forward. And we're gonna set up for fish before Shavasana. So that's why I do have this extra stuff here. If you have a block, really nice. If you don't have a block, you can set up for fish without a block. But if you have a block, right, block right between your shoulder blades and then lower back. And if you happen to have a towel handy, same thing, you can use a towel between your shoulder blades. If you don't have a block or a towel, just sit on your hands, fingertips towards your heels, squeeze your elbows in, and then lower back onto your forearms. Let your chest lift, you can kind of Point your toes, gently point your toes. Let your heart lift. If it works, drop your head back. Be mindful in dropping your head back. Take your time with it. And again, that's where a, a block or a towel can be helpful. You can put a block or a towel under your head for support. And if you are using a prop, it's really nice in fish pose because you can really soften here. So whatever variation you're in, take a big breath in, and a long breath out. Once more, breathe in, and breathe out. And then just lift yourself up enough, slide your hands out from under your hips, and then come on down onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Nice and easy. And drop your knees over to your right for your twist. And if you still happen to be in that fish pose and you want to stay there for the rest of practice, you can. That's a nice addition in the Shavasana as well. And then come through center. And take your twist to the other side. and then come on back to center. Give your knees a squeeze, any last poses or adjustments that feel right, and then set up for your Shavasana. Right. The energy that has bubbled up, that we've awakened. Now just a, a few moments in Shavasana to let it settle down so you can absorb this energy, you can feel it, and then you have it available to you as you move through your day. Take a really big inhale. And a long exhale.
wiggling your fingers and toes, just bringing some gentle movement back to your body. Drawing your knees into your chest and rolling to one side. And pause, take a big inhale. And a full exhale. Coming up to seated. Hands to your heart. Pause for a moment. And together, let's take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Feel what you've done, feel where you are. Feel that you have all that you need within you. And then you have the support of, you have my support, we have each other's support, we have all this support as well. Once more, a big breath in. And a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I don't know about you, but I certainly feel better. Thanks for joining me. I have crazy hair now. <laughs> my Patreon page should be live, but that's The Bent Yogi. You can hop over to my YouTube channel, also The Bent Yogi. I'm actually starting an online teacher training program in October, fully online, on Zoom. It's gonna be a great experience if you enjoy these classes. This is part of what you learn in my teacher training. You learn a lot from me about teaching, but you learn a whole lot about yourself. So check it out. My website is The Bent Yogi. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you guys soon.